And guys, we've got something funky, something fresh for this game. Some picks that are a little bit less common, but none more so than the mango through kind of play that they could go for. And they're going to try to find Puppy. They get the lift up. Could be the first blood. Out comes the Shadow Strike, and in come the auto attacks. Puppy will be brought down. And first blood is spilt. There's a Blake, a Screamed, Requiem will force him back on 430, not wanting to engage, now the raises could be in danger, good lift, but it doesn't matter, actually oh, does, out comes the stick, the old, they turn it, Luo in the front lines now, good with embrace there, trying to keep Artizi alive for a bit longer, but now Luo will lay into him, and one last swipe of that burning nunchuck, and down he will go, ends up being a two for one. That the lift has prevented a crush, and it seems that's really the counter to the Slardar. It's just quick fingers from Faith. Yeah, they give Chuan the lane to get farm, try to get his level 6 up, finish off a medallion to help you take Roshan later on, and they're not done. They're going to catch up Kuro now in the trees, and Ferrari there, they're going to use the Bruce Blitz to secure this kill. Kuro can do nothing but nothing but watch his carcass fall, and uh-oh, still no mech. Arteezy caught out here in the mid lane underneath his tier 2 tower. He's got the protection of that, but that may not be enough. 430's got another scream, and Arteezy... Solar Subject Scream, Arteezy trying to wind himself back up, still alive, Rage 1, he turns it around with the support of Zai, IG overextend and get punished. Schwan's gonna fall as well, it's three down, just for the Winter Wyvern buyback. What a IG for now, just trying to deal with the Brood onslaught, and as that Brood pushes out the top lane, and as mid lane goes past the river, Secret have just so much room to maneuver in. All kinds of places they could look to go. Where are they going to make their first move? Burning on the low ground. He needs to get off the split. He blinks in. S4 not going on him. Clap comes out. Now the split is there, but no, where's the no follow-up? The Bristle slowly working on the Puppy. Maybe they get this kill, but doesn't matter that he got put under by the Winter Wyvern, because out comes the Queen of Pain. They get one. They're looking for Arteezy isolated. This could be good for IG. A massive quantity of heroes descending on the fight, but the turn from Artor gets off the raises, dies with the Requiem death, and not enough to turn the fight. Luo now on the top side, Zai trying to force somewhat of a, I wouldn't say desperation smoke, but kind of a, a long ball here from Seeker. Yep. With the lanes pushing out for IG, they seem to know something's up. They move back very quickly, about within 10 seconds of the smoke, and they're ready for it. In fact, they might even go in, gods. The pings come out. Puppy starts the fight with a swap. They look to blow up 430. Requiem's there. They quickly get the job done. It's burning to stun, but he will get off the split, trying to deal with these BKPs. The Venge will fall, an expected loss for Secret, but Zai's next run over by the Visage. Cyclone onto the Winter Wyvern, who's yet to really have an impact on these fights oh. and tries to keep himself alive. Another solo subject should end him. More importantly, Arteezy isolated, burning, quick on the chase. TP out, is there a lift waiting? Any sort of stun, he gets out! And if you do go late as Brew, Brew, you often get that Refresher Abyssal Blade, which is where you'll have a 10 second BKB potentially anyway. IG continuing to lay into the tower, but Arteezy doing what he does well. We saw it on his Naga back in the old days. We're seeing it now on the Shadow Fiend. He's going to stall the game. Split pushes, takes the tower. Secret making the right moves here, although it yep. does feel like they're up against it. And doing damage to the range wreck, so this is not going to regenerate on the IG side. It was a fairly low HP tower, so it was kind of like IG did a lot more damage to the base, but they a tier 3 for a tier 3. Look at this, they want to go right back in on the mid lane, they're going to make their jump. Oh, what a That's Faith with the stolen crush on 2! See you later, Secret, he says. And now they've got confidence and they don't have a split push problem to worry about, gods. IG, straight up the mid. And this could be a late of Rex. It might be more. There's no tier twos left standing. If Secret's on a buyback, they which they the don't. Drone even? Like, they don't know. They might not know about these buybacks being down, but at the very least, you take one Rex. You see they're not buying back. You consider a second. Absolutely. I feel like that is. Uh, this is the timing. You've still got Aegis on Queen of Pain. 430 is rocked back up, and you either go for another lane of Rex or you start poking at those tier fours. And that's what Lua has in mind. Straight bottom towards lane. bottom. Even if Secret of Five, it's going to be tough for them to fight, but without it, how can they? Luo in the front. Run AC here. arrives. IG clumping up the ACs here in the Blake board. They found S4 Hex and dead it looks like beaten down by the gang of IG heroes that descend on him as they look to make this best of five, a best of three. They get the crush off to turn it. The Requiem comes out, but nobody cares. The Bruce splits there. Luo tanks through it all. Cyclone doesn't get cast. They lose the Wind Panda. The Queen of Panda over the top. IG.
G just laying in the secret. They'll bring down Arteezy. Can't save him with the embrace. And now they may lose more. BKB galore. Five echo shadow fiend. To what end though? Puppy's dead. Arteezy's about to be the next on the list. He gets hexed again. And they continue crushing their way forward. Now the stun, the clap, they get him. Another death. It's a buyback for Arteezy. And IG have secret by the throat. Any second now, expecting to see that GG out. Kuroki looks like he'll be the last man down. Soul Assumption continues to take auto attacks and will fall in the end. IG, looks like they've made this a 1-1 series, Gods. All right, there's no coming back from this deficit. It's at least another lane of Rax, and with that, IG pull even further ahead. They did take three casualties, but... This second lane of Rax, and where is the comeback potential on the secret side? Slada had to buy back. He's got no BKB. But it's going to be very risky to do that with the buyback and then the death on Arteezy again. If he dies again, it, it might end up just being the game. The swap to start, though. They do get burned. He's got BKB, the evasion. Too much for Secret for now. The stolen swap comes out. Oh, Faith Winter's with curse. all the plays. Burning kept alive and should be able to turn this. He's still got the split. He's going to use it right before the crush. And now they swing back the other way. On to Zai. Getting chased out. Still for now, Secret hanging on, but they've lost the slaughter. They're going to lose Curl quickly. Cornered and just isolated completely. Faith again and again on the Rubik. Denying Secret. Four dead. And G. G. The crowd gets a little excited as IG turn this best of five into a best of three. Well, with that, things even here between two of the best teams that have made it into the finals here. Secret and IG just putting on a bit of a show here. First, it was a pretty straightforward win for Secret, although IG really looked impressive even in defeating game one. And this time around, IG turned the tables and tie things up. Well, with this, gods, we're guaranteed four games. Potentially, we're going to get five.